Virgo, we're gonna be here with your mid-month reading. I'm sorry, I'm not even just, I'm not even gonna be like, I'm not even gonna hide it. Mercury retrograded all over me. <laughs> we're literally gonna put that out there. Mercury retrograded all over me, dude. <laughs> all right, Virgo. Um, so if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, I'll list my email down below. All payments are made through PayPal if you'd like to donate to the channel. Um, I'll have my PayPal listed down below so that you can donate. If you would like to donate a deck, I'll have my Amazon deck wish list down below as well. Um. <laughs> but let's see what's going on for Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. This is for July 15th through the 31st. Um, this is your mid-month. So, yeah. All right. One more? Okay. All right. All right. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Oh, wow. We got two. We have the star in reverse. Um, we have the four of pentacles. I feel like you may be distancing yourself from some people, Virgo, possibly an Aquarius. Um, the other thing is it's, it's because you don't want your life to fill out a balance. Um, the first thing I'm getting with the star card in reverse and the four of pentacles is like you're not wanting your life out of balance. You're wanting your life stable and sturdy. So you may be distancing yourself from some people. That's the first message I am getting for Virgo. Okay. I don't think this is, I think this is just like, if a Virgo is distancing themselves for you, I don't, don't take it personally. Um, I feel like Virgo is supposed to hit, uh, a get met. Mercury retrograded pretty hard, so from what I've heard, we have the justice in reverse. Um, I'm letting you know that the people that you're probably distancing yourself from um, are feeling a little um, like you hate them. <laughs> Just saying that. Um, okay. Well. Yeah, you're just trying to create balance in your life. And I feel like some other people may have been, um, like, um, you may be a very intuitive person um, or an empath of some sort, and you may be able to fill other people's energies easily. And right now, you may be um, getting a little bit more sensitive to those emotions. But you're kind of like feeling like a lack of wish fulfillment right now, too, with the star in reverse. Um, I mean, not necessarily lack of wish fulfillment. You're just kind of feeling... I, what I'm getting is out of sorts. A lack of... But there's, there's a little bit of lack of wish fulfillment there, too, because, like, you kind of just... You kind of just want to be, like, stable, and you don't want to have to worry... What is, you don't want to worry about fulfilling other people's wishes right now. You don't want to worry about fulfilling your own wishes right now. Um, which goes to the lack of fulfillment. Yeah, there we go. That's what the lack of wish fulfillment means. Okay, so basically you're working on fulfilling your own wishes right now. You don't want to worry about fulfilling uh, um other people's wishes right now you're you're really focusing on yourself right now Gemini or, or Virgo you may have cut out an air sign um, it could be an Aquarius because the star is an Aquarius card um, 
uh, Aries Leo, um, no, wait, no, why am I saying Aries Leo Sag, watch, watch, fire energy is going to come out, watch, watch, I bet you anything, I just randomly said Aries Leo Sag, I bet you fire energy is going to come out on here, but we have Aquarius Libra Gemini on the board, I forgot what the judgment card is, <laughs> we do have earth signs on the board, um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, obviously, We have three cards come out. What did I say? What did I say about fire coming out on the board? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Maybe you cut out more than one person. Maybe you just kind of cut out a bunch of people from your life because you felt drained. Um, with the Page of Wands, you just like up and stop talking to them. Because the Page of Wands can be like communication. And the Page of Wands in reverse... So I feel like you just cut off communication and I feel like the reason why you cut off communication is because you were feeling drained and you were feeling like you know I need to take care of myself like this devil card and the three of pentacles coming out together um with the with, with the page of wands I feel like whoever you cut off may be going through a rough time as well and you're not exactly sure how to help this person that's going through a rough time because they don't like to listen to your suggestions. Um, this person may find your suggestions a little bit harsh, but, you know, Virgos are really quick to, you know, tell you like it is. Virgos don't hold back. They, they just, they tell you like it is. Okay, I'm listening. They knocked the uh, deck with my keys, and I'm like, okay, what do you want me to put out for Virgo? <laughs> my guides sometimes knock things for me. Um, what I'm being told is this person is going to be okay, but this it this person may be feeling a bit like rejected about you but they're trying not to focus on it they're like they're trying to focus on hoping things will get better for them just in case you're wondering virgo they're more they're like really uh like just i don't know yeah Okay, so right now, this person is actually kind of, um, I'm, I'm being told to tell you this person's going to be okay. They're kind of like trying to hide the fact that they're scared that you hate them. <laughs> like, Nine of Winter. Unfounded fear, focusing on the worst case scenarios, allowing worry to grow out of proportion to the problem. And like... They, like, they're overanalyzing things at the seven of summer. They're overanalyzing things, like, they're just like, why did they stop talking to me? I feel like this may be a friend of yours. This isn't a romantic love interest. This, this is a friend of yours. Um. Oh. Um, this person, they may be a very close person with you and you may seem to have like the reason the reason why you feel the way you do around this friend is because like the awakening of psychic abilities and spiritual epiphanies I feel like you guys may have some kind of psychic connection um you have some kind of psychic connection and regardless of the fact that you're not talking to this person this person is going to forgive you for not talking to them and they hope they that that you forgive them for being so negative about life because right now this person is just to the point where they're done with life they they want to this person that you cut out and stop talking to hates life um they 
life is doling them a rough hand and they don't understand it. They don't understand how to cope with it. Um, they're doing a lot of overanalyzing. They're feeling hopeless. They're feeling like they can't achieve anything else in life right now. But at the same time, what this person is trying to do is they're trying to overcome that. And um, I feel like this person is trying to use the law of attraction to get you to talk to them again. Um, because they miss talking to you. I feel like you may have been some kind of anchor for this person. You, you may have helped this person through many hard times despite the fact that they probably didn't listen to your advice. Because um, I'm getting their... I'm getting they're very stubborn. Well, whoever this is that you left out in the cold is like very stubborn. Whoever it is you stopped talking to, they're very stubborn. And you did it to take care of yourself. You did it to build a solid foundation for yourself. With the three of pentacles here. Okay. Um, your guys want you to know that this person's going to be okay. But they're very broken right now. And they're feeling like you hate them. All right. This is a friend. This is a friend for Virgo. This is, this, this is not anything romantic. And we get the five of wands. Yeah, this person may have had a lot of conflict going on in their life. And they, I feel like this person may have turned to you a lot. And so you kind of just like pulled away from the conflict because this, because as a Virgo, some, like as a Virgo, I'm literally going to like kind of say some stuff about Virgos because I know this Virgos, my sister's a Virgo. One of my best friends is a Virgo. <laughs> and Virgos don't beat around the bush. Virgos are straight and to the point. They don't care what you think about them. They don't care if you don't like their advice. Virgos tend to think that they're right a lot of the time. Which oftentimes Virgos are actually right. However, when Virgos are wrong, they hate to admit they're wrong, but they will admit they're wrong because they have this sense of, okay, well, I was wrong, but hey, you know what? At least I put my two cents into something. That's something that Virgo's personality does. So if you're cross-watching for a Virgo, I want you to know this Virgo doesn't hate you. If you're a cross watcher, okay? We have the Knight of Cups in reverse. This Virgo doesn't hate you, they just need space from you. Okay? Virgo, you needed space from somebody. I am like, I'm literally, I know there's cross watchers on Virgo. I know there's gonna be cross watchers on Virgo. You just needed space from this person because they, it was like, it was like they had so much energy and you could feel their energy and you could feel their energy because you're an empath and you have a psychic connection to them. I feel like you may have known this person in a past life and because of that, you have some kind of link. Um, I feel like you have been friends in many lives before. Um, you have, definitely. You have the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, you left them out in the cold. And what they're doing, and what you're doing at the same time. It's as, it's as if you and this friend 
have such a deep soul connection that you're starting to mirror each other. You you are, um. Man, you and this friend have a soul bond. You. You guys are are good friends. Whoever you took space from, you're actually pretty good friends. Some of you may live at a distance from this friend, but whoever this friend is, you have a soul bond to them. And you're both working on your strength. I feel like you're both working on getting strong. My goodness. You took time to get the inner strength from you. You have a soul bond to this person. You guys have known each other in many lives. You guys, yeah, we got the two of wands. You're refusing to make a decision towards them because you want them to gain the inner strength on their own. You actually want them to gain the inner strength and stop relying on other people to give them the inner strength. You know what? They're gaining that inner strength, Virgo. Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to say you did the right thing. Believe it or not, this has actually resonated for me, too. <laughs> I had my best friend kind of distance himself from me, and he's a Virgo. Um, he lives, like, miles away from me. But he's, like, one of my best friends. The hangman. Wow. This is crazy. Like, some of this is, like, actually resonating with me, too. I have a best friend that's a Virgo. He literally distanced himself from me. But he's very sensitive to energies, as I am. <laughs> Um, the two of pentacles in reverse. Yeah, this person, like, Virgo, I, I feel like you're trying to balance your life. And with temperance, I feel like, I feel like you've been very patient with this person and offered them a lot of insight. But at times, with you guys both being empaths, I feel like, I feel like the fact that you have a soul bond with this person, you guys are both empaths, sometimes you guys both drain each other's energy. <laughs> um, and so, you guys have to make a balance here. Wow. We have the Seven of Swords and the Ten of Wands. There is a new cycle starting, and if you're wondering if this Virgo, if you're a cross-watcher and you're wondering if this Virgo will ever talk to you again, yes, they will, but they need time. If you are a cross-watcher and you are watching for Virgo, yes, they will talk to you again, but they need time. They need space because they, they are dealing with their own life, and I feel like what this... What, what this group of Virgos is doing is you're, you're raising your vibration right now. You're trying to raise your vibration to a higher level and you're trying to get yourself on track so that you don't have so much energy drain. Now, these Virgos, Virgos, Virgos that are protecting yourself from energy drain, I'm going to recommend a couple crystals for you. Um, there is a crystal that I wear all the time. It's called Labradite. It is great for energy drain. Um, it's, gr it's great for empaths. It's great for empaths. If you are an empath, um, invest in Labradite. Um, you can buy a tumbled stone for probably a dollar. Um, Black Obsidian is really good for that as well. Um, but another thing... Okay... What 
else do I do for energy drain? I sage myself, but another thing that I do for energy drain so I don't drain from energy is I drink a lot of water. I drink a lot of water, and, like, I've noticed, um, because the church gave me fruit and stuff, um, I've noticed that ever since I've started eating fruit, um, that it doesn't, um, that I'm not as drained of energy. Um, the other thing that I'm going to recommend if you are an empath is B vitamins. Um, believe it or not, empaths do great on B vitamins. I'm not a health professional, but B vitamins have been great for, um, me. I'm making a disclosure. I am not a health professional. I am not telling you to go take B vitamins. I am just giving you recommendations that have helped me. I am telling you what has helped me as an empath. So Virgo, if you are an empath and you are absorbing other people's energies, B vitamins have helped me regain and help stabilize my energy so that I'm not so overrun by other people's energies um, as an empath. And as you know, I'm a card reader as well. So that does take energy as well. So B vitamins may be beneficial to you. I hope this information helps you because if you're feeling energy drain and you've distanced yourself from somebody because you feel like they're, you've distanced yourself from more than one person um, is what I'm getting um, because there's a couple people on this board. You've distanced yourself from more than one person and you've done it to gather your energy. And so I'm giving you some recommendations on what can help you with energy drain. And I hope they help. I'm gonna pull you some oracle cards. <laughs> I'm gonna pull you some oracle cards, Virgo, and then I'll get into your love reading. All right. <laughs> um, know your worth. Open to infinite possibilities. See, you're taking care of yourself. You're taking care of yourself, but I feel like if you're a cross watcher for, go, for Virgo, this person wants you to know that you guys still have a solid friendship and that they're not leaving you behind, okay? Okay, they are not leaving you behind. This Virgo is not leaving you behind. They just need to take care of themselves right now, okay? Um, it's something that they need to do right now. If you are a cross watcher, they, if you are a cross watcher, Virgo just wants you to know that you still have a solid foundation with the friendship. Virgo, the message that I'm getting for you is this friend is, is a ride or die friend. You do have a solid foundation with this friendship and this friend is going to forgive you when you come back. Look, we got take time out. We got truth transcends illusion. And we got the abundant universe will pr provide. So if you guys are having struggles with like finding a job or money or something right now, um, the, the universe is going to find a way to provide for you. Um, let's see. Truth transcends illusion. I feel like the truth transcends illusion um, is for the cross watchers. Um, cross watchers, if you're watching cross watching for a Virgo and they've distanced yourself from themselves from you, they um, they just need their time and your fears about them not talking to you again is an illusion. Okay. All right. I'm getting like a lot of messages for Virgo this is but this is a good read for Virgo I'm glad you're taking care of yourself Virgo congratulations I'm an air sign so I tend to understand when people take care of themselves sometimes life stings okay so with sometimes life stings if you're going through a rough patch and you're like having something happen or like you feel like you you feel like you, Virgo, even if you feel like you're hurting this person by being away from them, if you need to take care of yourself, you need to take care of yourself. I'm straight up going to say that. 
um, Virgo is very worried about hurting this person. Virgo, the Virgo person um, that's going through this is very worried about hurting the person that they've distanced or people that they've distanced themselves from. And, you know, you sometimes you need to take care of yourself, Virgo, before others. Okay? And I feel like this person's going to understand. Okay? Let me get the other person's point of view for you just so you know, Virgo, because apparently you're worried about hurting them. What's the other person's point of view on this situation, please? And how they will understand the Virgo needing space. Okay. We got learned from the past. And we do have time to collaborate. So right now, I feel like they're going through some life lessons. And they're kind of collaborating on how they can make life better for themselves. We do have time for beginner mind. They're trying to make a new beginning for themselves, possibly in career or something else. They are trying to make their life better. And right now they're just kind of let, letting spirit guide them. They're trusting. They're trusting this situation to be okay. They're just kind of letting spirit guide them. But we also have be generous in spirit at the end, at the bottom of the deck. And then we have the miracles are endless after that. So I feel like this person will understand that you needed the space for yourself. You needed to take care of yourself. Um, when if, if you've like literally told them you're going to take care of yourself, look, they're going to understand. They're I, I feel like they're going to understand and if you guys want to rekindle your friendship, which I'm guessing you will, you know, it's, th this, this person's going to be completely understanding and generous of you. Um, but right now, this person is also focused on trying to make miracles happen for them without you. Um, and they're kind of accepting things and letting spirit guide them. So, like I said, Virgo, whoever you've distanced yourself from, if you're worried about them, they're going to be okay. And they know that you just need space. Okay. All right. I just want you to know that. They know that you need space. They understand. And for cross watchers watching this video, obviously you know that Virgos need space um, for a while. All right. Well, Virgo, I'm going to get into your love reading next. Because, you know what, the general reading was all about friendship. Now we're going into the love reading for Virgo. Woo! All right. <laughs> A lot of you are more single, though, in this group. So <laughs> let's, let's find out the love reading here. Love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I encourage you to check out your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs as well. Um... You guys have a new beginning coming. Ace of Pentacles wanted to come out. That wanted to fly out. Great. Well, some of you, you may meet somebody at work. I'm just saying. Okay. In the past, you've had a lot of heartbreak. And so, I feel like some of you have been closed off to love. With the Six of Wands. Six of Wands. Okay. You're a very uh, passionate person. If if you if you want love, it's no bullshit, okay? But right now, yeah, like I said, like I said, a lot of the, a lot of you is a single person. A lot of you this is a single group of Virgos. A lot of you this is a single group of Virgos. We have the Five of Cups. Uh let me see more. Right now, you're just focused on your own success, I feel like. Um, this group of Virgos in general is focused on your own, on their own success. I'm, like, literally getting into the love reading, and I want to see what's coming for you guys. Moral card. You may have a new cycle coming in. 
where love comes to you and it's going to be the kind of love that you want with the wish fulfillment card look there's the ace of pentacles again oh my gosh second time i've seen that <laughs> Like I said, you guys might meet this person at a new job even. Okay. Um, we have the nine of swords and the eight of wands. You are enjoying the single life because you're just focusing on yourself. Anything else for Virgo in love, please? Yeah. The three of cups, you're just kind of like... Uh, going around and talking to different people and that's it you're not like yeah this is a single group of Virgos taking care of you and enjoying the single life is gonna be your thing look ace of pentacles came out again I'm taking it I'm just taking ace of pentacles I'm and there's a six of swords so I feel like you guys are gonna find a new job this went into a job if you guys have been looking for a new job, you're going to get that new job. Um, can I get one more row here? We got the Nine of Wands. If you're feeling a bit burdened and not knowing, like, what what's next, it's, like, you're, you're going to find that job uh, that you're looking for. You're going you're gonna to find it. <laughs> wow. One more. Yeah, you're enjoying the single life. You're just, you're like, I'm going to be me. <laughs> you're just like, you're, yeah, with the Eight of Cups here, you're just kind of, you're walking away from anything that doesn't make your day shine. That's what you're doing, Virgo. You're walking away from anything that doesn't make your day shine. You do have another job opportunity on the horizon for you, Virgo. I'm not going to pull any romance angels because I can tell that you guys are enjoying the single life. You may have an opportunity for love in the future, but only when you're open to love. Um, all right. Wow. Taking care of yourself and enjoying the single life. Good job, Virgo. Take care of you. If that's what you've got to do, then take care of you.